another episode of Cooking for One. I'm Cassie from BBC Good Food and today I'm going to show you how to make a really easy sausage and bean stew. To make this delicious one pot dinner you're going to need some cherry tomatoes, a couple of garlic cloves, a stick of celery, I'm using a leek but you could also use an onion if that's what you've got, a carrot, some tomato puree, a tin of beans, I'm using butter beans but bolotti beans would be really nice or any beans you've got really, some smoked paprika, one sausage and some rosemary. First I'm going to peel and chop the carrots and the rest of the vegetables. I'm going to leave the vegetables nice and chunky here. I'm also going to peel the celery stick just to get rid of some of those fibrous stringy bits on the outside. This makes a nice hearty rustic stew. So you can leave the vegetables chunky or you can chop them a little bit finer if you want. Now I'm going to prepare the leek. So split the leek down the center and just make sure there's no dirt or grit inside those leaves. You may need to give it a little bit of a wash if you can see any dirt in there, just like that. Okay, so our leek's nice and clean. I'm going to roughly chop that as well. You only need about half of the leek, so I'm going to save that for another recipe tomorrow. Now onto the garlic. Just crush it with the heel of your knife. You can either use a garlic crusher to crush it or just mince it up with your knife. So now I'm just going to half some of these tomatoes. You want about 10 cherry tomatoes or you could use three or four large tomatoes. Now just roughly chop your rosemary. You could use another woody herb if that's what you've got. Some oregano or thyme would be really nice here as well. Give it a nice rough chop. I'm going to heat a good glug of olive oil in a nice big pan. And the first thing I want to cook is the sausage. So I'm just going to squeeze the sausage meat from the skin into balls, straight into the pan. And we're gonna sizzle those for a couple of minutes until they're nice and golden and crispy. Okay, the sausage is looking lovely and crispy now, so I'm just going to scoop those out into a bowl. and we'll add those back to the stew at the end of cooking. So now we're going to add all our other vegetables. So we've got our herbs and garlic, the tomatoes, leek, celery and carrot all going in. And I'm also going to add a squeeze of tomato puree. You want about a tablespoon in there. and a little sprinkle of some smoked paprika just for some extra flavour. Okay, so that's been cooking for about a minute or two, just until the tomatoes start to soften. Now I'm going to add our tin of beans with the liquid from the can. and half a chicken stock cube. Give everything a stir. You want a little pinch of salt. Now just pop the lid on and cook that for 15 to 20 minutes. 
Okay, whilst our stew's cooking, I want to show you how to make a really tasty, easy garlic bread to go with the stew. So I've just got a nice slice of crusty sourdough bread here, but you could use some ciabatta or a baguette if that's what you've got. Um, you want a nice chunky piece and a garlic clove. So just crush your garlic clove, peel off the skin, and then rub one of the cut sides all over that piece of bread. This will give it a really lovely garlicky flavour. And save this um, piece of garlic because you can use that again in another recipe. You can just drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. And just cook that in a nice medium to high heat griddle pan or you could do it on a frying pan if that's what you've got and you'll have some really tasty garlicky bread to go with your stew. So our stew's been cooking for about 10 minutes now. I'm going to add those sausage pieces back into the pot and stir them in and then just cook it for another five or so minutes until they're cooked through and we've got a lovely rich stew. So our stew is cooked for about 18 minutes in total and it's ready now. The sausage is cooked through, the veggies are nice and soft and we've got a lovely rich sauce. I did just top it up with a little bit of water while it was cooking, so you may need to do that if the liquid evaporates too much. So at this point just taste the sauce and see if it needs any more seasoning. I'm just going to add a little pinch of sugar to balance out those tomatoes and a splash of red wine vinegar just for a little bit of sharpness. And our garlic bread looks lovely, so now we are ready to serve. So now we're ready to serve up. I've put the garlic bread straight into the bowl so that it can soak up some of those lovely juices from the stew. And I'm just gonna spoon it all on top. This makes a really nice, generous serving, so it's great if you're hungry or if you wanna save a little bit for lunch the next day. And it's packed with loads of veggies, so it's really good for you. Now I'm just gonna garnish that with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. This is completely optional, but it just adds a really lovely, savory, cheesy topping to the stew. And a few basil leaves. Again, you can leave them off if you don't have them, but they're just a nice, finishing touch. And finally, a nice glug of some good olive oil. So there is our easy, speedy, really, really tasty sausage and bean stew. I hope you love it.